been 20 years already that we had a pilot plant, a factory for composing grasses mainly, a private company in Holland, the Netherlands, Europe, my husband Hendrik and I, Stella. We sold that company when Hendrik got ill, but that was 20 years ago he overcame his illness, cancer, and now we live in the Alentejo, in Portugal, now since 2010. There were dry and hot summers and winters with frost. This winter is mild. for a relative short period. When summer comes, these plants dry to hay. This hay is eaten by sheep and cattle. This is a long time tradition, but not all the crop is eaten, some remain. Remains can be composted when you collect them. And this is what Hendrik does, collecting grasses, fresh and as hay. When grazing by sheep and cattle is this long tradition, that means there is sufficient nutrition available in the local grasses and hay. Otherwise farmers would have been looking elsewhere. This also means that these materials contain sufficient energy to use for composting. The conclusion is simple. When animals can grow from plants, one can make compost out of these plants to make other plants grow. We can collect all kinds of organic matters for the use of horticulture. Hendrik makes this effort to grow our vegetables on the compost that he makes. What was a profession 
20 years ago became a hobby. What we did on a large scale, with tons of material and heavy noisy machinery, we do now on a very small scale, in the silence of the Anantesu. What was started as a private company developed in Hendrik's mind. It did not leave him, it became his passion, and it turned out to be a very useful passion. You cannot stop a free mind. It was in the 70s that Hendrik got hold of a book written by Professor Selman A. Waxman, Soil Microbiology, written in 1939. And he also found a study from the German doctor and agriculturist, the Herr Dr. Kranz. This all appeared to be very useful, on any scale, large or small. The study of Dr. Kranz was about what was called the Württembergische Dunglege, Dung or Dung, the preparing of dung in the right way to prevent the loss of organic material to a minimum and to prevent wheat seeds to expand, to keep all the nutrients inside, inside the dung or inside the compost until plants use them to grow. This is where it happens and where it starts. One barrel, about 300 liters, for a wet start, because the first start is a wet start. Two barrels, about 200 liters, for a warm temperature up to 30 or 40 Celsius and three more barrels to calm down and to store for a short moment for as long as it takes.